welcome everyone who's watching thank you for tuning in to this channel what i'm going to show you today is how do you open microsoft powerpoint and how do you create a presentation of any project so when i'm going to search now here i will just type powerpoint because that is what i'm looking for and then when powerpoint opens there you can either create from templates or create a blank document so i advise you to always create blank document because that is when you can find or get a chance to actually create your own presentation according to the way, way you want to customize it when you click blank presentation microsoft powerpoint by default gives you one slide as you see here on the left and then you can actually add number of slides according to how you want your presentation to look like if i go and click home there you will see that there is new slide there then i can click the icon just above where it's written new slide according to the number of slides that i want so i clicked once now i have slide number two i clicked again and it, now i have number three i click again four until i have ten if you see, if you see down there it says slide seven of seven then i have eight of eight until i have ten of ten there according to the number of clicks that you put there so if i want to work on slide number one i will have to make sure that slide number one it is the one that is highlighted in the orange with the orange border so i will have to scroll up until i see one there when i click one as it is highlighted in an orange border it means that is the slide that i can edit now here on the big space every slide on microsoft powerpoint gives you a place where you can put the heading of your presentation so normally because the first slide is for introduction you have to put the topic of your presentation and probably introduce yourself so probably now here the heading maybe i'm going to present about human rights if that is my project but if you know what your project topic is you will put the correct topic here so then if i have human rights probably as my topic then i can have subtitle there maybe as the introduction i introduce myself or i introduce the group members if i was doing this as a group and then now if now i'm going to slide two to do more work then it means now i will start maybe to introduce the project itself by putting a picture that i will talk to the audience about then how do you insert a picture probably here in the heading this picture was actually based on day one so the day one here we have learned that you can highlight like for instance uh, make changes and, and formatting like we know from microsoft to it maybe i can change the font size and the font type and then i make it a real and then probably i change the font size to any other size and make it center it's according to the way you want it maybe i make it italics and so on so if you insert a picture this icons here you can click where it says picture there and then choose a picture that you want click insert the picture will come there probably this is what i will be talking about on slide number one now slide three probably you don't want it to look like that then now you have to learn this tool when you go to home you will see layout there so on this layout if you click here you will see different types of slides if i'm going to choose the one that says to content or content with caption or comparison it means i want the slide to change so that it can give me a slide that looks like that so i'm going to take the one that says content with caption then i know that this side i can type this side i can put a picture maybe this is day two and then here i have to explain probably what were we doing during day two maybe day two we distributed flowers and then we also shared information distributed flowers and then we even had to share information probably we even had to do an awareness so all these things that you were typing here awareness 
maybe you want to edit them you can highlight and maybe change the font type or font size to any other with the bullets that you want so now i've put bullets there then maybe i can change to agency fb and then i change the font size to 36 so that it can have a different style where my audience can be interested maybe you make your heading bold and center as well so it's up to you how you want to modify your slides then maybe a picture that i want to put there it must look different then i can choose any picture that is relevant to what i'm talking about so i'm giving examples by putting pictures here then maybe slide four i have two pictures to put then i will have to change the layout so when i change the layout and now when i change the layout probably i want to make it for two pictures so i can go to two content then i have a picture that can come there and picture that can come there so if i'm going to put a picture there i will click pictures and then i can take a picture that is suitable for what i want to do so if i insert a picture there even that side i can go and take another different picture as well so if i take this one and click there then now here i can have an, another heading probably maybe this is day three according to the examples that i'm giving it's a heading then this heading maybe i can make it center i can change the font and then make it bigger and then i can also make it bold and italic and just like that so probably now you don't want your presentation to look boring like this which is black and white now you need to go now and change the design there whereby you apply a theme to your presentation so if you look at the themes here you can expand to see more themes like i did now and then choose a theme that you want if you ch choose a theme like this you can also have variants here on the right hand side where you have variants of the same theme maybe you want to make it have a variant of a certain color if you want so now if you have them like that then you can also have a transition so that when you move between your slides during your presentation your slides will come in different motions so what you do now when you click transition like i did now and expand there you see many different types of transitions if you just put your mouse there you will see their names and so on so if i'm going to have any transition that i want it means now i have to click it maybe i want the one that says box and then i have to click apply to all meaning that all the slides will have to have that theme of uh, box so meaning that when i go to my presentation the day when i'm presenting to my audience when you click slide show you will see that when you say from beginning it will be like a box when they flip and then when you, you are done presenting the first slide when you press enter on the keyboard it will move you to another slide with a motion of box just like that slide number three just like that slide number four just like that that is how you present with a theme and also with a transition so if you are done now you can press escape on the keyboard so that you are back to your original work where you can edit and then probably now you want to print so that you can submit hard copies when you go to file and you click print you will see that now there there is where it says slides and it says full page slides when you click there you can have options of printing four slides on one page you see how it comes out or you can go and say six slides per page or you can go there and say three slides per page so it's up to you how you want to print it so that you don't have one full slide on one page because you are just handing out or you are printing out small slides that you are also presenting with on the project the other thing that you can also do is when you go to the tool insert you can insert many things even from here the pictures are there that you can insert from here when you're on that relevant slide or you can go to shapes whereby you draw a shape that you want if i go to slide number five now which is now empty and then i go to shapes and i choose a shape to draw you can see that my mouse changes to a plus sign so as i drag to draw 
it will be a shape that will be now on top of my slide so if you are going to draw something like that it means now you are going to have a blank slide where you can do these things so this slide must change to be a blank slide so that my shape can be clear you can click on it again layout and then choose blank slide there and then now you have your shape appearing alone you add more shapes and draw and also include text by going to the same shape and choosing a text box if you want to type something that is talking to this shape so that people can understand what you're trying to tell them so that is how actually you design powerpoint so that you can prepare a project that you are going to present thank you for watching if you have been subscribed click subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified when i upload any other series or episode related to anything that you have to learn thank you mm -hmm.